Fox is still melting down over Jimmy Dore's force to vote for M4A. So here's exactly what the idea is, okay? You got 12 progressives that are in U.S. Congress, right? These 12 progressives represent the only hope that the United States has. AOC, Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib voted against the stimulus, and so did Tulsi Gabbard. 5,000 pages? You don't know what the fuck was tucked in that. Why would you vote in favor of... Okay, so Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley... Rokana, Pramila, Jayapal, Mark Pocan, Jamal Bowman, Corey Bush, Marie Newman, Mondaire Jones, and Richie Torres. And it's Pramila Jayapal's uh, bill that we want. We want Pramila Care. We want Pramila Care. It is HR, HR something, 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 1384. So Pramila Care is what we want these 12 progressives to say to Nancy Pelosi, either get us for Millicare, get us, put HR 1384 up for a vote on the floor. Either get us for Millicare, put it up for a vote, yes or no, or step down, Nancy Pelosi, and we will vote for Hakeem Jeffries. We will vote for the representative Hakeem Jeffries, a compromise candidate, but a new face, new blood. We're going to kick Nancy Pelosi to the curb. America hates Nancy Pelosi, and America loves Medicare for all. 72% in favor of Medicare for all, 10% in favor of Nancy Pelosi. So let's get America Medicare, let's get rid of Nancy Pelosi so we can get America some Medicare for all, some Pramila Care. HR 1384. Pass 1384. HR 1384. Okay, people, the debate rages on. This is a little bit old, but I really want to hammer on this point, okay? People talk to me a lot about Jimmy Thorpe. I've watched a fair number of Jimmy People talk to Vosh. A lot of people talk to Vosh a lot of times about Jimmy Dore. What is, what's Vosh doing with his time? Jimmy Dore videos, you know? And while I disagree with a lot of the stuff he says, I don't necessarily think that, like, disagreeing over strategy is indicative of some, like, massive underlying problem. I don't claim to be the avatar of all left good strategy. I... I'm lying right now. I do claim that. I do claim that mantle. But um, with regards to Jimmy Dore, so we have this whole kerfuffle with AOC. So he's got nice internet equipment, software. He just made like a little joke and he had like, it got a close up to his face. I'm lying. I am the avatar of the blah, 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 blah. But uh, unfortunately for Vosh, you can have great equipment, you can have a great super chat, great software, great internet, you can have everything going for you, and yet uh, it doesn't take away from Vosh's douchiness. His douchiness just oozes all over the place. See, and I, so I feel like there are two discussions to be had here, okay? One of these discussions is about the... Okay, that's, uh, that's enough out of you. Let's uh, go to Jimmy Dore, the aggressive progressives. Uh, they said Steve-O. I don't know if this is Steve-O or if it's a different, I don't know. But uh, this is Steve-O and Jimmy Dore arguing the videos from August 26, 2018. Well, no, no, your, job as, your job as a journalist is to parse out what's right and what's wrong, not throw a giant blanket over everything and create a false equivalency. Thomas are being taken down is totally different than Alex Jones being taken down because he is harassing victims of Newtown and, and directing people to stop them. Steve, okay, that's a totally different thing. You're advocating for a dark system with no accountability. No, I am not. So you're saying that it, an, an adversarial judicial process with an impartial judge which follows the law and the Constitution is not any better than Mark Zuckerberg and that is, fucking that is Henry totally Kissinger separate. in secret totally deciding separate. this totally shit? Totally separate. Totally separate. That's Henry Kissinger? He's like yelling at, right at him with only about a foot or two away. They're both like kind of pointing at each other and like really getting each other's space with the, you know, their arm movements. The reason why, well, let's go back to plan. Voosh. Let's and go back to Voosh. Voosh. and the rest of the squad in Congress. Voosh the douche. Vote for Pelosi, um, for speaker, for the speakership role, um, unless she puts a medical... Oh, fantastic explanation, Voosh. You, you got Voosh uh, the douche. He knows what's up. And... I think this is a really dumb plan for a number of reasons. Well, I think you're a really a dumb person, douche the douche. That don't really work. Um, maybe I'll get into them as I talk about Motherfuckers well, made about 15 videos talking about how we shouldn't even try to do shit. We shouldn't even try. Don't even put the pressure on. Believe in this plan. 
Um, like Kyle Kalinske, for example. I disagree with Kyle Kalinske on this, but I'm not going to like go hard against him because I think that Kyle Kalinske has good intentions when it comes to the future of the left. Oh, okay, so Vush the Douche is, uh, he likes Kyle Kalinske. Okay, so Vush the Douche likes Kyle Kalinske, so therefore we should just listen to what the fuck he says. Okay, okay, Vush the Douche. Uh, I think has good intentions. So I want to talk about Jimmy Dore. I want to talk about this clip. That's all you want to talk about is Jimmy Dore. It's a little, it's a little compilation, a little highlight video. Um, and I wanted to show you guys this, and I want you to ask yourself this genuine question as you watch it with me. And it's this, is this guy an ally? And this is to keep you from health care. That's what this is. This is to keep you from health care because she's a gutless wonder who will not do what she promised. And you don't get her to do what you want her to do by being fucking nice to her. You get her to do what she's supposed to do by ripping her to shreds, which is what I'm doing right fucking now, because she has it coming. And it's not just her. They all do. She's the only one engaging on Twitter, which is why she's getting it. What it take? So, so he's sitting there saying that AOC isn't doing what she's supposed to do. We're supposed to put the pressure on the politicians and the government. Isn't that how fucking politics works? Isn't that politics 101, boost a douche? The issue that I have with this is that Jimmy Dore doesn't talk the, about The issue that I have with this way about anybody else. Right now, AOC and the squad are the most left-leaning people in American government. They so, are. did you hear that lie? Bruce and Douche is going live. Bruce and Douche says that Jimmy Dore never yells at it. J Jimmy Dore yells at everybody like, who the fuck doesn't Jimmy Dore yell like? And they're the most left-leaning people that have been in American government for a long time. So... I want to say right off the bat, there's nothing wrong with challenging or criticizing very left-leaning people in government at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bruce Deuce. That makes me feel better. Now, he said that lie, and he's going to repeat that lie about how Jimmy Dore doesn't yell at anybody. But here we hear that Jimmy Dore is yelling at Steve-O. You know, motherfucking Mark Zuckerberg and motherfucking Kissinger behind closed doors. That's Paulie what you're Stafford. saying? It's Tony Stafford. And That's what you're saying? And you're a I'm fucking a lawyer. lawyer. I'm a and you're the head of a media company I'm a on lawyer. the internet. And I'm you a don't, lawyer. And so you disagree with Matt Pavey? No, I don't. You are disagreeing with him. No, I don't. You are. And you're no, disagreeing I'm with Chomsky. I'm not. And you're disagreeing no, with me. No, and you're disagreeing you always with... always do, Jimmy. You throw a giant blanket. Dude! Uh, I disagree with I'm the... fucking the... telling you article. exactly what you're telling me. I say you agree with There's no defending what you're defending. You're defending a opaque... In no, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're putting words in my mouth, and you're, you're doing not defending you're, that. I'm not. You, so you're, you're no, I'm not. So you. We're done. We're done. Go, go to break or whatever. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so Jesus Christ, right? Jimmy Dore is like uh, yelling at Steve O to the point where he's like, he's done. I'm done. He pulled a no, no Mickey const, right? Now nah, wrap this up. Let's just wrap this up. Just get get this, get this uh, kitty helper out of here. Get this kitty helper out of here. At all. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I think you should challenge your leaders, even if they're people who are relatively on your side. The issue that I have is that Jimmy Dore... Wait, hold on. You're attacking the messenger, Vosh, not the message. Don't get distracted. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. We're attacking the messenger right now, Vestiligen. That is what we're attacking. <laughs> No, 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 Booster Douche says, no, 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 Booster Douche, we're attacking Jimmy Dore, we're attacking the messenger. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a, it's a log logical fallacy, I mean, that's the whole thing about don't attack the messenger, because it's not the, the truth of the matter is what you got a problem with, you're attacking the messenger, because you can't attack the truth of what he's saying. It's easier just to attack the person than it is to attack the one simple idea, put pressure on goddamn conquerors to get us Medicare for all. Simple idea, Booster Douche. If you're not pushing for Medicare for all, you're not pushing for police, ending police brutality, demilitarization. You're not pushing for ending the wars. You're not pushing for ending the Patriot Act. You ain't pushing for shit. You're not pushing for anything. Medicare for all, 72% of a Fox News poll says American people want it. The American people want it. And they don't want Nancy Pelosi. But Bruce the Douche, which side is he on? He's on Nancy Pelosi's side. He's on the side of America not getting Medicare for all. He mentioned that, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm in favor of it. But, uh, yeah, it's not like he's advocating it. It's just kind of like, hey, Bruce the Douche, what's your thoughts on blah, blah, blah? Um, 
I agree. Okay. Well, we don't really need, you know, that. We need people that love it, agree with it, and is pushing for it, and is going to change this fucking nation. Boosh the douche is stopping the movement right now. He doesn't talk this way. You don't talk this about way. anybody else. Okay, so that's it for all statement. All you got to do to prove that wrong, he just yelled at Steve-O, right? So I just pulled up a clip of him yelling at Steve-O. I'm sure if I did some... There's a bunch of clips of him yelling at everybody. So this is 2018. He doesn't yell at anybody. He doesn't talk to anybody like this. Yeah, he's talked to T, uh, Steve-O just like that. So uh, Vash the Dash is a fucking liar. Vush the Douche is a liar. Liar! Jimmy Dore, I've seen Jimmy Dore's coverage of Trump. Jimmy Dore is one of those people who was constantly downplaying how threatening Trump would be because it owns the libs. Jimmy Dore was one of those people who would constantly be, libs are hysterical, they're hysterical about Trump. They have Trump derangement syndrome. He actually uses the term Trump derangement syndrome. They do have Trump derangement syndrome. What the fuck is Vush the douche douching on about? He is persistently... I, I would I would almost argue conciliatory to the Trump administration on certain points when he went on Tucker Carlson and pleaded with Trump like a, like a good little boy, and then he comes here and he, he pleaded with Trump to get us out of fucking Syria like a good little boy. That's not what a good little boy would do. They would say, "Okay, the emperor doesn't wear clothes." Jimmy Dore says, "Hey, emperor, you ain't wearing clothes. Get the fuck out of Syria. Get the fuck out of Syria." Like a good little boy. Boosh the douche. We're attacking the messenger here, right? Don't attack the messenger, but no, no. Boosh the douche says, do attack the messenger. Okay, I will attack the messenger, Boosh the douche. You a douche, Boosh. Hey, Boosh, why are you such a douche? You being a douche, Boosh. You Boosh a douchey. Douchey, Boosh-y. He's ripping AOC to shreds because AOC doesn't want to engage in a harebrained strategy that has literally... Harebrained, uh, Kathleen Rice has proved, uh, that, uh, that tactic, that strategy works, you stupid fuck. Kathleen Rice threatened to not vote for Pelosi for Speaker and got herself the chairmanship of the Energy and Commerce Committee, you dumb motherfucker. God, boost the deuce is getting dumber and dumber by the second. Literally zero chance at procuring any positive results for anybody. This is courage from gutless wonders like you, AOC, you fucking phony, and you're revealing you yourself. Phony. I, I, I am just writing it down. We are category. You're doing it, and we're marking it. This is her outing herself as a gaslighting motherfucker because. I don't know. About, this isn't just about Jimmy Dore. I don't think anyone online knows what gaslighting means. So, Bush the douche continues with his fucking, he's, God, he's a douche. He doesn't know what the hell gaslighting is. So, AOC, we just had the $600 stimulus bill. She voted for it, but if you look at Twitter, she's got an online poll to say, is $600 enough? No, that's the only thing we got. It's not enough, and uh, it's, her people says, you know, that they're against us, and she's going to bitch about how it's not $600, it's not enough. And yet, uh, just turn around, she voted for the damn thing. She voted for the damn thing. So, you know, that's gaslighting. That's gaslighting. Sitting there saying how bad this bill is, the bill that she just voted for. This, he's using the term right. Vosh to dash. You guys know. It, gaslighting doesn't mean lying or saying a thing you don't like. Gaslighting is when you persistently lie to an individual to make them doubt their perception of reality. Okay. Exactly, exactly. So you think AOC is a great freedom fighter. I saw the prosecutor of the Baltimore cops do this. And then Freddie Porter, she came out and she was mad and, you know, I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm going to stand up for what's right. And then when she lost, she came out and was like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But that was the end. She lost. And so she came out to gaslight the people just to, you know, I'm so mad. Don't come over here and don't tell me what to do and don't. So that's gaslighting. AOC sitting there saying that the $600 isn't enough, yet she voted for it. So why is Bruce Seduce supporting AOC? She voted for a 5,500-page bill that we don't even know what the hell is tucked in it. If you, you know, online streaming, if you steal it, it's now a felony. Half a billion dollars goes to Israel so they can keep on. They just killed that Palestinian teenager so they can keep on doing that. What does Vosh, you know, Vosh Sadash, what the fuck does he give a fuck about anybody else? Vosh Sadash, he's a fucking douchebag. Trying to, you know, trying to um, cash in on this fucking pot of gold. But uh, I don't think uh, being anti-Jimmy Dore is going to work. Vosh Sadash. Medicare for All is more popular than Pelosi. And I bet you Medicare for All is more popular than Vosh Sadash. 
a lot of people online misuse gaslight. I don't know why gaslighting is when you fart in front of a lighter. Yeah, I don't. People misuse the fuck out of this term. It's crazy. Is it crazy? It's crazy because you're corrupted and co-opted, and now we gotta lay on you as hard as we can. Everybody, listen to this shit. He doesn't talk this way about anybody else. So he keeps repeating the same lie. It's total bullshit. He's, you know, talked to Steve-O right to his face just like that. That's, this is what Jimmy Dore does. He talks this way to every, every, watch every single one of his fucking videos. He goes off on somebody. Somebody gets it every fucking day. This is his broadcasting style. This is what he does. He gets fucking pissed off and mad and look, it's a good show and I'm angry and I'm pissed off and it's good TV. He's an entertainer. He's trying to get your attention. And you know what? I like it. I like it. He's teaching us how to weaponize the media. He's also being a crazy Negro that Malcolm X, you know, told us to be. I like it. He's using gaslighting correctly. He's the one that's attacking the messenger. Yeah, we're attacking the messenger. He's gaslighting. Don't, th don't think about Medicare for all. Don't think about the strategy. Don't think about the tactic. Think about the man that thought of the idea, that thunk of thought. A man thunk of thought, you get the fuck over yourself, Vosh. And this motherfucker's probably going to continue to have meltdowns because, you know, he's getting views. 36,000 views. And he just posted it today, December 22nd. Yep. 36,000 views. So, shit. Shit. <laughs> Anyways, Vosh is a douche and a liar. Peace.